What is up guys, it's Solime here, back with another Wrath of the Lich King Classic video for you. So today I'm going to talk about why I'm excited for Wrath of the Lich King Classic, because honestly, Wrath of the Lich King is probably the expansion where I had the most fun, and it was also when I really started understanding the game and playing it a little bit more actively, so it also carries with it a massive amount of nostalgia for me. I also know Wrath of the Lich King Classic is the ultimate WoW expansion for a lot of people, and it could also be the end of the classic WoW saga, depending on whether or not they decide to continue into future expansions, such as Cataclysm after Wrath of the Lich King, but I do think it makes sense to end the classic WoW saga after Wrath. Not only that, but Wrath of the Lich King was also the WoW expansion, with the highest amount of active players or subscriber numbers, and I think that by itself also carries with it a lot of expectation for, for Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and I think a lot of people are excited for it. So let's look into what exactly made Wrath of the Lich King such a great expansion, and why I am personally looking forward to it. So first off, convenience. This is a huge thing in Wrath of the Lich King, and it's one of the big differences between Wrath of the Lich King and TBC Classic, and OG Classic WoW. The convenience factor number one is the Dungeon Finder, and instead of having to manually form a group and spam trade chat, and looking for group chat for that matter, or use third party add-ons in order to form groups for dungeons, you can now join a group for a dungeon by clicking a single button. Not just that, but the dungeon finder also teleports you to the dungeon as well. I know that this was one of the big things for Classic WoW, where you have to manually walk to the dungeon entrance, and if you didn't have a warlock, you couldn't summon anyone either. In some cases, this resulted in 30 minutes of just walking, which does add a social element to the game, sure, but honestly, I'm at a point now where I would rather spend those 30 minutes actually doing the dungeon instead of walking to the dungeon. Another convenience quality of life upgrade, maybe a small one, but an upgrade nonetheless, is the collections tab where you can no longer have to keep your mount in your bags, you can now learn your mount and they will no longer take up a slot in your bags. You also have active quality of life upgrades that also serve as convenience upgrades, such as dual talent specialization, which will now make it so there is a lot more healers and tanks actually queuing up for dungeons. Before you had to pay up to 50 gold for every single respec, as well as you had to manually set your talent points and replace your keybinds every single time you respec. This made it so tank mains in TBC Classic usually stayed in their tank spec 24-7, and DPS mains usually stayed in the DPS spec 24-7, and there is a lot more DPSers than tanks in usually most raids. With the dual talent specialization, you can now pay a one-time payment of 1000 gold to have two active specs to switch in between, and you only have to pick the talent points and set the keybinds once for each spec. So if you're a DPS main but you've got a tank spec as your second spec, you can switch specs in a couple of seconds and boom, you are now ready to tank. Especially in TBC Classic, there's been a huge tank shortage in Heroic Dungeons, which was incredibly apparent in Phase 1 of TBC Classic. Literally nobody wanted to tank Heroic Dungeons, and DPS mains did not want to pay 50 gold to respec into tank spec, so this quality of life upgrade I think will have a huge impact. Speaking of heroic difficulties, I'm also really looking forward to normal and heroic raiding. Having two separate difficulties of raiding also allows more people to be able to experience raiding, while still having a challenging difficulty available for those who actually want a challenge. Normal raids brings with it a lower barrier to entry, and this will ensure that more people get to experience the raids themselves, which is actually a pretty vital part of the classic WoW experience and gameplay. You also have heroic raids which brings with it a challenge and better loot. The raids in Wrath of the Lich King also has both a 10 man and 25 man version of it, which allows your guild to raid with a full roster, no matter if you have 10 active raiders or 25 active raiders, so it's a little bit more flexible this time around. Another thing that I'm personally really excited for is the class meta, or more specifically, the lack of a specific class meta. In Wrath of the Lich King, pretty much every class has its time and place, 
It's only a matter of the spec you choose, but a lot more classes have something they bring to the table, and the class specific roles start getting switched up a little bit. For example, if you for some reason don't bring a mage or a paladin to raids, a warlock's fell hunter can still buff your group with both intellect and spirit, which serves as an alternative to both the arcane intellect buff from mages and the blessing of wisdoms for paladins. Classes also start getting more tuned to give classes lacking damage output more steady damage output, and classes that struggle with mana usage usually get like a couple of quality of life upgrades to help them in that regard as well. One small change in that category that I as a druid main am particularly looking forward to is the change to Omen of Clarity, where this can now proc off of spells in addition to melee attacks, meaning this is now a very good talent for both restoration druids and balanced druids as well. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really looking forward to the new Death Knight class. The Death Knight was actually my main in OG Wrath, and in my opinion it's such a cool class with a lot of different playstyles and different roles, and you can play around with different types of specs to suit your needs. You can be a DK tank with high survivability and self healing, or you can be a DK tank with high damage output and lots of haste. You can be a dual wielding frost death knight, a two handed frost death knight, or you can be an unholy death knight that utilizes a permanent minion to deal a lot of damage. The different specs have completely different playstyles, where I like to think of unholy death knights as a melee warlock, using damage over time through curses or afflictions and also using hard hitting abilities such as Scourge Strike, which is in my opinion the melee version of a Shadow Bolt. Dual wielding death knights hit for a lower amount of damage per hit than someone wielding a two handed weapon, but you also attack way faster, so it's more of a rogue like experience, while a two handed death knight can be compared to the likes of an arms warrior or a retribution paladin. Lots of different playstyles that suits different players and appeals to different class fantasies, which is just amazing. The Death Knight is also a really strong class in Wrath of the Lich King, probably because it is a new class and the actual hero class of the expansion, and because it is a new class it's also a little bit difficult to balance it around the current classes. In OG Wrath the Death Knight was a little bit broken early on, but as we are most likely getting the final version of Wrath for Wrath of the Lich King Classic, we are also most likely getting the most fine-tuned fine version of the Death Might as well. One last reason why I am excited for Wrath of the Lich King is achievements and titles. Achievements becomes a thing in Wrath of the Lich King, getting world firsts or server firsts are much more rewarding because you actually get an achievement that you can show off to other people and many times those achievements also comes with titles attached to them. I am probably not going to get any world firsts or server firsts, but I am excited to try to obtain achievements and titles such as the Kingslayer, which you can get by defeating the Lich King, or the Undying, which you can get by defeating every single boss in Nexramis without anyone dying to the boss encounters on 10 man difficulty, or also you have the Immortal title, which is the same title but for 25 man, and finally, I really want to try to obtain the Herald of the Titans title in actual wrath, as this is a title that I obta obtained on retail back in Cataclysm, and even back then it was very difficult to do, so getting this title while Ulduar is the current content is going to provide a very fun challenge. So yeah, that is pretty much it, a couple of reasons why I am excited for Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and I'll be honest, the hype is real. Wrath is going to be such a fun time, I honestly cannot wait, and I will do my best to keep you guys entertained with informational and entertaining content surrounding Wrath of the Lich King, and I will also be doing some deep dives into classes, classic guides, professions, and most of all, gold making. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on those videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you didn't enjoy it, then please still give it a like. That is pretty much it though, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.